Hi, this is Josh Marshall from TPM Media. It's Thursday, April the 19th, 2007. Today we have part two of our interview with Senator John Kerry. Today we get into questions about Iraq. Now, in the interest of full accuracy, uh, my head is actually not twice the size of Senator Kerry's head. There's a little visual distortion going on in the way we shot this segment. You can, as you'll see uh, later on, uh, Senator Kerry, of course, is a tall, stately figure. So. Uh, disregard the visual distortions and listen to our conversation with Senator Kerry about Iraq. What's the Democrats' endgame on, on Iraq with this confrontation with the President over the funding bill? Our, our purpose is obviously to change the policy, to get us to a position where we can be successful. We don't believe the current policy can be successful. In fact, we think it creates more terrorists, puts our troops at greater risk, worsens our position in the Middle East, and we want to change that. We'll keep the pressure on. Uh, he's the president. The executive has enormous power to be able to just plow ahead and uh, you know, administer the way they want. But our job is to create accountability, and that's what we're fighting to do. So if he, if he vetoes this bill, though, what, what comes next? I think we'll come back and uh, try to uh, create a series of benchmarks and a series of uh, measurements that are very specific about what ought to happen and put that to him and see if he'll change the policy to meet the benchmarks. So where do you see that standoff ending? I mean, it seems like he's going to... I mean, the president's down at 30% in a way. He doesn't have much... I, I think that, uh, well, the president's going to have to decide what's, you know, really best for America. Uh, I think that we have a better plan for how you protect the troops and how you protect America's interests. And it's our job to keep fighting for that. And in the end, if he has a different point of view, that's what 2008 will be about. Okay. Do you think, you know... Uh, John McCain is, is the is the president, 2008 presidential candidate who's been most um, hawkish, stubborn, whatever adjective you want to put. Uh, you guys have been friends for years in the Senate. Has has what's happened over the last couple of years? Has that changed your as, not as a person, oh, but as a, as a as a as a political force? I'm not sure what you mean by as a political force. I mean I respect John McCain and I like him on a personal level, and I. What do you think of his position on this issue? Uh, well, I disagree with him, uh, just completely and totally. I think he's dead wrong. Uh, when he says that there is no plan B, this is the only way to go, that's wrong. There is a plan B. Plan B, and there's a plan C, too. Mm -hmm. And plan B is our plan that, in fact, leverages success to the degree that you can. And it is more supportive of the troops. It's better plan in terms of America's security in the region. And when he says the only thing to do was to have this troop escalation, what has happened? More people killed, more Iraqis killed, greater chaos in Iraq, more American soldiers killed, and no progress on the political front. That is not a success, and by any definition. And I believe that the only way to resolve this is what the generals have said. There's no military solution. If, if there's no military solution, then why, you know, John McCain would say, well, the only way to get to the political solution is to increase security. Well, you can't, it's a, you know, chicken and egg, mm -hmm. just chasing in a circle. Right. You can't change the security if the fundamentals of the Civil War keep getting worse. The and president keeps saying that the Democrats are substituting their judgment for the judgment of the generals on the ground. No, we're substituting our judgment for the judgment of an administration that has proven itself to be wrong every step of the way. And the president has no case to make about his judgment in this war because it's been wrong and has consistently dug us a deeper hole. How, is, there, is there something better than, than mitigating the disaster that this has become that we can hope for? I think, so I think the, the best that you can do now is try to restore uh, a stability level within mm -hmm. the Iraq itself and within the region, create a new security arrangement for the region which could be very powerful and very important and hopefully advance the Middle East peace process with a greater level of diplomacy in that. So you think it has to be kind of a global, well, regional global solution to... to I think you to need a regional security arrangement. Okay. Iraq itself would be greatly helped by having the other countries lift a little more, yes. Right. We've got to go in. Right. Thank you. Okay, that was our interview with Senator Kerry. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll have one more backstage shot from the Colbert Report. Okay, we're back. A lot of you remember last year, Stephen Colbert 
was the comedian at the White House Correspondents Association dinner. It made a big splash, a lot of controversy. It turns out Senator Kerry was a big fan of that performance. I was at the uh, White House dinner. You were? Oh, I would, if I had known, I would have directed the future. <laughs> well, it was, I, it was one time where I actually get delighted at everybody else's squirming. <laughs> well, you didn't meet two of us. They really are. No, no, you were, you, I mean, you know, obviously the blogosphere responds to it. Again, you hit the nail. Yeah, it was perfect. This is Josh Marshall from TPM Media, and we'll talk to you next week.